Hello everyone and welcome to the second part of this series where we'll build the Skype clone in Flutter. So the previous video was just an introduction to this course and I showcased the almost finished version of this app. So in this video we are going to start off by configuring Firebase. Now Firebase is really easy to integrate but the problem arises when you start to use multiple plugins. I myself faced many incompatibility issues, especially the Android X incompatibility issue. Now, there are two ways in which you could create a project. Either you could use Android X or avoid Android X. I recently tried to create a project by avoiding Android X, but when you add a Firebase dependency to your Gradle and Cloud Firestore plugin, it seems to cause some problem with the Gradle, and thus Flutter will not install the app on your device. So let me first do it in a natural way, and then we'll start making changes from there. So I'm going to start off by creating a Flutter project. And I'm going to come inside of my project directory and execute this flutter create command. By the way, you can now make an Android X project directly by adding the Android X flag, like this. But I prefer to migrate to Android X using Android Studio. And I suggest the same to you as well. Now, as flutter creates the project, I'm going to come inside of the Firebase console and I'm going to create a new project. Also notice that the Firebase team has made some changes around here. So now you get to enter the name of the project right here. For the name, I'll write Skype clone. Then I'm going to click next and it takes me to the next step where you can select whether you wish to use Google Analytics or not. For this project, I'm just going to select no and I'll click on create project. So Firebase creates the project for us and to register an Android app, just click on this Android icon button and it takes me to the details page. Meanwhile, over here, our Flutter project has been created. So I will navigate to the project directory and I will write code dot to launch the project in VS Code. Now to get the package name, just go over to androidmanifest.xml and copy this line and then paste it over here. For the app nickname, I'm going to write Skype clone. Now we do need an SHA key as we are going to be integrating Google sign in in our project. So just go over to your command line and paste this line. And then as soon as you execute it, it provides you with the required SHA1 key. So just copy this and paste it over here. All right. So after registering, the second step is to place the Google services.json file where it belongs. So just download it and then open up your project directory, then go to Android folder, then app and just paste it over here. Earlier, Firebase provided all the necessary lines of code required to set up the Gradle right over here. But now they have moved it out of this section. So in the third step, just click on this link which takes you to Firebase Docs. Then select Flutter and follow that article. So I'm going to come over here and copy this line and paste it inside of the project level build.gradle. In the next step, it tells you to add this apply plugin to your app level build.gradle. So we'll copy this line and come over to the app level build.gradle and paste it right over here. All right. So now I will try to run the app and there we go. Our app runs successfully. Now I will go to pub.dev and copy this line to import the latest version of Cloud Firestore. And then I will paste it inside of our pubspec.yaml. Now I will run the app once again. You might get some notes or warnings, but you can ignore them. And there we go, we have our first error. Also, an interesting thing is that if you would have just imported permission handler without Cloud Firestore, your app would have actually installed. So it just causes problems when you put them both together. It says that the Gradle assemble debug has failed. Now if you scroll up, you'll see that it tells you what went wrong. So the execution was failed for this task called transform dex archive with external libs dex merger for debug. Big name, big error, but it's fairly easy to solve. Just go over to your app level build.gradle and instead of the default config, just write multi dex enabled true. All right, so I'll run the app again. And there we go, the app works. You could even write some lines of code to put some data inside of your Firestore DB and it will work just fine. Now, of course, our project would also use some more dependencies like permission handler. So I will import that as well. After it's successfully imported, I will detach the app and run it again. Okay, so it's resolving dependencies and we are at the dreadful assemble debug stage. And there we go. 
Now the error says that Gradle failure might have occurred because of Android X incompatibilities. So we need to migrate our project to Android X. And we'll call the expert to do that for us, which is Android Studio of course. Now I've opened up my project in Android Studio. And if you right click on this Android folder and come over to Refractor, you'll find an option that says migrate to Android X. So I'm going to click on it, but there seems to be an error. It says that you need to have compiled SDK set to at least 28. And if you remember, our compiled SDK is already set to 28. So what I'm going to do is I'll close this dialog and right click on the Android folder again, and then go to Flutter, open Android module in Android Studio, and click on the new window. And this launches the Android module in a new window. So the first thing that pops up is this upgrade Gradle dialog. So we're going to have to upgrade the current Gradle to the latest version. If you have the latest version, then it's great. By the way, the latest version of Gradle as of now is 5.1.1. And I read on Stack Overflow that you also need to install Google Play services if you have not installed it already. To check whether you already have it, press shift twice and it brings up this search bar and type SDK manager and select this option. After that, go over to Android Studio, select the SDK tools tab and check for Google Play services. In my case, it's checked out, which means that I've already installed it. And now that we have upgraded the Gradle, I'm going to click on the app directory, go to refractor and migrate to Android X. And it asks whether we would like to keep a backup of our project. But since our project is empty, therefore I'm just going to select no and move on. Alright, so now all the necessary updates have been done and our project has been successfully migrated to Android X. And now if you expand the Gradle scripts, you can see all the Gradle scripts present inside of your project. There are different Gradle scripts from all the dependencies that you have. For example, this is the build.gradle of your own project. Then another one for your app module. In fact, if you open up the project level build.gradle, the class path in my case has been changed from 3.2.1 to 3.4.1 since we have upgraded the Gradle. Then there are Gradle files for Cloud File Store and for Permission Handler. We don't really want to do anything in there. Now just come over to gradle.properties and just add these two lines. Great, so I'll click on this play button to launch the app and let's see what happens. Okay, it's processing and we have reached the dreadful assemble debug level. Let's hope that we make it past that. And there we go. After doing so many things, we are finally able to run Cloud Firestore with permission handler and we have eliminated all of Android X incompatibilities in our project. Alright, so that's it for this video. I hope that you don't face a lot of difficulties in integrating Flutter and permission handler. This is just the way I did it because this was the only way I could get those two dependencies to work together. So yeah, that's it for this video and I hope that you found this video helpful in solving your problems. Don't forget to leave a like and comment on the video. Also, if you're new, then make sure to subscribe to the channel in order to receive updates about the course as soon as possible. See you soon.